Today we are working on a decked out truck. Uh, this is a, a good way for businesses to use some of the color of their truck but still have a, a custom look. We're going to use quite a bit of the white on the side but we're still going to we're going to wrap the uh, hood, a little bit of the top and then some graphics on the bottom. Yeah, I mean, well, I kind of lined up the same the way, but I'm like maybe a quarter, not a quarter, maybe maybe a quarter inch that way. Yeah. time to time we'll need to remove an emblem or two uh, to make the wrap work. In this particular case, we need to remove this Bighorn logo right here. Uh, there's going to be a decked out logo that goes pretty much this entire surface right here. It comes down a little bit and to make things easier instead of trying to go over logos, we just take them off. And we'll show you how to do that right here real quick. The tools we use to remove these emblems are pretty simple. It's just a little pry tool here and a hammer to help wedge this tool behind the the emblem, it's just adhesive back here. Once you get it all popped open, you just pop it open. You can see the adhesive right here. Logo stays intact pretty well. So if the customer ever wants to put this back on, when they take off the wrap, they just get it some adhesive. Uh, double sided tape, then you just stick it right back on where it goes. So, we're back in the screen print shop today working on a uh, t shirt order for Top Hat Tavern and also doing some koozies for them. Simple one color job, shouldn't take too long. Front and back, just black on these shirts and white on the koozies. Let's take a look and see how it's done. Color design, just black on it. And this will be the front. So we got this uh, front stud on this order, and now it's just time to change out the screens and put the, the graphics for the back. Now changing out the one color screens is pretty simple. You just pop out the old one, put the new one in. But whereas if we had a multicolor setup here, you have to take all those out and re-register all the colors to make sure everything lines up correctly. So that takes a little bit more time. One color ones are pretty easy. I prefer doing those. That's where your money's made here. So uh, let's finish setting this one up. Once you get the press all set up, you'll take a scrap shirt and want to run a test print here real quick. Just make sure there's no holes and make sure your graphic looks the way you want it to. There's our graphic, just a simple black top hat on the back of this shirt. Do you care to elaborate a little bit? An order for frontline trucking. 
in North Chesterfield, Virginia. Would you like to see the finished product? Come back later. <laughs> You want to talk about what you're doing? <laughs> sure, I'm working on a simple online order involving semi-regulation numbers and a fire extinguisher inside decal for semi-truck. I am sizing up this exterior plus vehicle. Real for exciting. A. For a vehicle lettering. An order for Henry's trucking. You guys are so quiet. Checking Josh over here. What are you working on today, Josh? Hmm? What are you working on? Uh, MSW trucking. Trying to get the chisel to work right. It's not chiseled. 